Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. So let's have a look at potential in your love life. I've noticed a lot of shift in energy. So let's see. The potential in your love life. What is it you need to know? Who's coming in? Who's around you? Yeah. Oh, pleasure. I see some pleasure. And I see an opportunity. So it looks like, you know, this could be a date or something. But something here is going to be very pleasurable. And you can see there's a path going through this gateway. So it's whether you want to go through this or not. Okay. But it looks like good time. Yeah, I see healing chaos. So this is where I feel. It's an energy of, you know, finding some pleasure. But there's some healing. There's going to be something that comes in sudden that's going to cause healing. So this is actually really good. <laughs> Yeah, now there's a lot of power. There's going to be, a, it looks like there's a connection here. There's some kind of powerful connection. Uh, but I do see this healing. So it's possibility of what I feel here is, you know, there's going to be something pleasurable that happens that leads to a path to an opportunity. Okay, and it's going to be very sudden, swift. Okay, so I feel it's just going to be this healing energy, whether you're healing with somebody. Um, okay, some of you could be healing with someone where there's a powerful connection. But I, what I feel for a lot of you is just an energy of, you know, having a good time with someone and it leads to an opportunity which allows you to heal. Okay, because it's swift, it's sudden. And you can see here with this uh, tornado that there's butterflies coming out of it. So something very pleasurable is going to happen, but there is a powerful connection here. Yeah, so you see those two lightning bolts here? There's a lot of power. There's a spark. There's going to be some chemistry. So yeah, so it's often, you know, when you meet that person and it's an opportunity, it's very pleasurable. You might just decide that, uh, you know, it, it just heals you. It creates this transformation from something you've likely left behind. So let's have a look here. What is it you need to know? The opportunities around you. Yeah, so I see the Ace of Cups. There is an opportunity, an invitation, communication. Yeah, you're going to connect with someone here. I see a lovely connection. This, I mean, this could be a friendship that leads to something more uh, as well, but it really feels like two people are going to connect. You're going to see eye to eye. You know, there's this big cup beautiful yeah ten of pentacles it's going to feel like home so this is an energy of feeling like home and i do see this being very stable so something that wasn't stable before is going to be stable now yeah three of cups i see you know dating courting getting out socializing not going places here so i feel it's telling you too it's also a message telling you get out and have some fun Okay, some pleasure. Do something fun because you're likely going to connect with someone. I see friends or friends of friends here. I see a place where people congregate, socialize, socialize that feels like home. It's very stable, but it's also a partnership. This could lead to a partnership. Beautiful. Yeah, you can see six of wands, success and victory. So some of you have had a situation that wasn't successful. It didn't go anywhere. So this is what's going to heal this. And I do see this beautiful friends of friends and socializing and some really good news here. So it's really about this transformation. Beautiful energy. Six of wands. This could be two people coming together, you know, and if this this connection could actually just kind of heal you from things in the past yeah because it is stable and it's stable it's reliable yeah you got the knight of cups somebody's going to ask you out so it's likely somebody who had a situation that wasn't successful or someone's pride got in the way but i do feel this is an energy i do see an energy of someone who is actually going to provide you with something here yeah this is really interesting but you can see other people it's often somebody who's getting attention from other people but somebody only wants your attention so someone's going to try to get your attention put it that way <laughs> Yeah, look at that. I like this energy because I really feel like there's going to be a lovely connection. Let me just grab another deck here. I'm bringing out the light seers. I have a new mini deck here. It's so hard to find nice small cards to clarify so they don't overpower. So let's have a look at this opportunity with this Ace of Cups. Why is it here? 
Yeah, see, this is someone here who's not sure. Now, there it could have been a, a rejection. So it looks like some of you might have this choice here. Somebody here you might feel isn't your type. But I got to tell you, I, I feel like you're going to enjoy somebody's company. Now, I don't know if this is a situation that wasn't successful because somebody felt you weren't their type or they just weren't sure. But it's telling you as well, this is an opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. Even if it is just uh, having a good time with some people, Okay, it could be just with friends, but it's going to possibly lead to more. And that's what it's saying, to take this path, to go to go through that path. Take that opportunity, because it's right there. This is going to lead to something more. So this, and it could be, like I say, friends first, leading to more. You might not be so sure about this. Okay, but it's saying don't miss this opportunity. There's something really lovely. And if it is someone who felt they missed an opportunity, it likely has to do because of some kind of healing. But this is so, so positive. Let's have a look at the Two of Cups. Why is this here? Why is this here? Looks like meeting someone through friends of friends. Yeah, this is someone who feels like there's not a lot of hope. So you can see there's someone here who was kind of sad. Somebody was sad. They either missed an opportunity or, you know, if you miss this, there's going to be this person who's sad. So I, that's what I kind of feel. If somebody here is going to try to get your attention. Somebody wants to get your attention. And they're going to do something to impress you. <laughs> oh, I see it. There it is. Yeah, it's somebody here who's been sad. So like I say, talking, connecting here. This could be just a friend where, it, like I say, it leads to something more. Take the opportunity. It's going to be pleasurable. Okay, yeah, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. This could be people you have in common. So I do see someone holding back in protective mode. Someone's holding back, kind of closed off. I feel like you got someone here who's likely been a little closed off. And I, there's something that happened that wasn't successful for them, whether it has to do with you or someone else. But I do feel it's an energy of protection. See, but there's pleasure here. It's saying to take the opportunity, okay? And, and like I say, this could be you healing with somebody here or one thing leading to another. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you've got a King of Wands. This is something, yeah, you got somebody here with some pride, maybe a little ego. But it looks to me like somebody didn't have success with somebody or they feel they missed an opportunity because there's people. This is often when there's a lot of people around at a place. This is someone who's determined. You see, they're often, this is someone who's very proud uh, and very determined here. But this is a person who's really focused. They're focused on this. They're focused on you. Oh, yeah. See, there it is, the Wheel of Fortune. And this is someone who's been contemplating, kind of, you know, uh, looking at their life path. This is someone who's been spending a lot of time alone contemplating this. It has to do with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is beautiful energy. This is a whole new cycle. Someone here has gone through a healing. Okay, so I really feel there's going to be pleasure. So I do feel somebody was a bit closed off protecting themselves, you know, just being closed off, it very much in protective mode. But I feel this is someone who's ready for a new path. So there has been some healing, and it could be the help of friends and family, getting out socializing. And it could be yourself, because it's right in the heart of the reading where there's some sort of this healing chaos. There's people around, there's a social event, and it has to do with being at the right place in the right time. So this is a beautiful energy. Look at that. See, this is an energy of uh, emotional fulfillment. Something, someone here, I think this person's really focused on you. Now, they have been in hermit mode. They've been contemplating their life path. So whatever this person was, this is someone getting out there. See, someone's ready to get out there again because they've been going through a healing. Wow. And if it, it's maybe even yourself, but I love this Ten of Cups after this because this is a beautiful beautiful energy this is two people putting all their cups on the table i think you're gonna have a good time you know like i i feel someone here was just sad you know they just didn't know they were just drained emotionally just a really sad person and this is what i feel has happened here this is someone here and it does have to look with there's this energy of three other people involved you see so this is energy of this person looking at this path so they're ready to go down this path again so this is really nice. But it's a person who's been not budging, not moving, just like I say, and protective. But they are looking at it. I love the energy. Yeah, let's have a look at the Six of Wands. Why is this here? This is someone planning and preparing for success. They're very determined. 
<laughs> yeah, they're going to do something to, oh, look at that, a little temperance, a lot of Sag energy. So it's somebody who's free, single, but this is somebody who's kind of, after a period of time, they're looking at this and it, they, it's an energy of feeling different. I mean, you're different maybe than their usual type because this could be someone who's used to being chased and you're, if you're not chasing after this person, this person does like the chase. They do, you know, it makes them feel really enthusiastic. So whatever happened with this person or yourself, I feel it's, it wasn't successful. Okay. Because I feel with temperance, someone's feeling different. I feel this person's unique. Uh, you're different than their usual type. I feel they're going to take you out. Yeah, this is a courting person. This person wants to court you. You see, they're going to court you. So this is a really, really nice energy. Now, they really could be anyone. We have a lot of Sag, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a little Virgo energy, which anybody can have that energy. But you can see somebody was sad. They were kind of drained. This is someone who's not sure what to think, but it's an opportunity. And I feel it's kind of could be yourself, feeling like there's not a lot of hope to connect. But there is hope. But it's about pleasure. It's about taking the opportunity not being closed off. I feel someone either feels they missed one or they're going to. I think it's telling you you're going to miss an opportunity. Like I say, one, having pleasure connecting with someone here, okay, is going to likely lead to something else because I see just being in the right time. Maybe they'll introduce you to some friends. It could be a friend's, a friend's situation, you know. But, and it could be somebody who's, it, you know, puts you in the friend zone or vice versa. But I still feel, you know, it, to me it feels like uh, company, companionship, um, you know, with these other people. There's positive news. I see beautiful positive news here. I see there's going to be some chemistry. This is going to be a powerful connection. This person's making a powerful move too. They know it. You see, they're looking at this. Wow. Tell me about the power. Tell me about this power. Why is it here? Yeah, see, they're going to reach out. See, they're a little worried. This is someone who's thinking you're going to reject them. Because I do think this is someone who's been sad. They're coming out of a sad period in their life where something didn't work. It wasn't long term. It just wasn't meant to be more than likely. But they want to reach out. They're hoping you reciprocate. But you can see they're a little worried you might reject them. So that's where they kind of feel there's no hope. So, and to be honest, some of you could have a couple of situations going on, but I really feel you're going to be at the right place, the right time. Uh, I feel like there's somebody here. Yeah, you got someone who can't stop thinking about you. They are in their head. You see, it's, it's all about the right place, the right time. So it's possible somebody, you know, something happened here where this person was in a healing mode. But I see a lot of happiness. I, I feel this is something that could be really good. Yeah, it doesn't look like you know them per se. Uh, it's more like uh, this group of people. There's talk, but it's very positive about something new. This new cycle, a windfall of abundance, the timing is right. Yeah, look at that, the stars. This is something meant to be. See, there's something that's meant to be here. Somebody dealt with someone here that they, I feel, couldn't stop thinking about that wasn't successful. See, they needed to heal. This person has healed. They've released this. This is someone who's out of their head now. They're ready to take action. King of Wands is someone who takes action. You can see they're going to ask you out confirmation some of you could have a couple people like i say one if you feel this person's not your type i still feel like you're going to have a good time and enjoy yourself the possibility is there pleasure so don't be closed off to this because like i say i almost it really feels like you're one thing's going to lead to another and it, it's possible too where you've dealt with somebody and you know, they were kind of closed off and they weren't really emotionally open. Whatever happened, they may come back around. So if you have a place where you go, where you find a lot of pleasure and you enjoy yourself, it feels like home, they may go there. But you see the star. I think this is someone who dealt with something that just wasn't meant to be. I actually feel this is something that's more meant to be. And that's what I feel this person's looking at. Look at that, the bouquet. I, I can't even believe this. This person's someone who brings flowers. I, I'm sensing, you know, a person who's kind of, um, they really know how to court. They really know how to court. 
Okay, they really do. But I feel, like I say, they're they're not sure you're going to reciprocate. But I feel this is someone who can be quite generous. And it'll likely start off a little slow because I do feel, you know, and it could be yourself too, a little skeptical about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, it's a choice. There's a choice to make. I got to tell you, some of you with this 2-2 two -two here, mm-hmm, there is something special here, something that's meant to be. It's faded. Someone can't stop thinking about you. I can tell you that. And I do see this choice. Some of you have a choice between two. Someone you're going to go, thanks, but no thanks. I think you're going to take, uh, others of you will just take this other opportunity. Yeah, but it could be this person too, where they have choices and they're just like, yeah, I'm not interested. Because like I say, this person's interested in you. This is about you. You're different. You're unique. There's something about you that just feels right. It's an energy of being a good fit. You fit with their friends and family. So they're going to be contemplating this, maybe even kind of watching how you interact. Mm -hmm. I, I like this energy. I, I feel like you got something uh, quite interesting. So I'm going to use this uh, Amira Salons deck that I bought because I've always wanted this deck. It, it shows just simple things that you can clarify. So who is this person you're dealing with? Yeah, so it has to do with someone letting go of control, okay? It's about letting go of control. So someone here is releasing something. They're releasing this. They're, this is the star. They're letting go of, of something that needed healing. And I don't see control here, but this is somebody here who's going to let go of the outcome, and they're just going to go with it, go with the flow. That's the that's the energy. So this is an energy of somebody. Oh, they can be a little kinky too, just so you know. One here is doing a lot of thinking here, but yeah, see, it's about dating. You're going to be dating someone here. This is someone who's going to date, okay? So some of you have someone here who you're probably going to say thanks, but no thanks to if it is someone coming back around, because I feel like you've already let this person go, but you have a date coming in. Yeah, this is where I feel often this is about taking back your own power, but it could be this masculine taking back their power from somebody here because this is someone I feel like I feel it's a masculine energy of somebody who needed to heal okay and I do see the butterflies the transformation little butterflies in their stomach because there's this they're going to make a powerful move and I do see travel now this could be vacation honeymoon enjoyment someone is thinking of something pleasurable someone may want to you know actually take you someplace you know and get you alone <laughs> so, or they're at a distance some of you could be leaving someone behind who's at a distance but I see enjoyment travel um, you know it's like the six of swords energy um, like I say vacation some of you might meet somebody on vacation when you're doing something good but don't be closed off that's, and I don't know if it's you or them. It really feels like it's this person. Yeah, there's you've got true love coming in. There's someone here who feels there's something meant to be. And I feel there's an honest, you have an honest connection coming in. Now, if you've been dealing with somebody here, okay, who rejected you, ignored you, okay, and you have this connection, uh, there may have been a lot of sadness, but it's telling you to take this next opportunity. Yeah, this is quite lovely. Tell me about this bouquet. Why is this person bringing you flowers? Yeah, the bouquet, the proper dating. Yeah, you may get them when you're at work. Okay, they may show up at your workplace with flowers. So this is an energy. This is also, yeah, I can see somebody being at work. This is interesting too, a place where somebody works. Now, maybe it's yourself. Okay. But it's a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be, but you see a feminine profession, college, workplace. So I think you're going to get flowers at your workplace. It could be somebody trying to find out through other people where you work too. Yeah, you got the courting man. Oh yeah, this is the courting man. They're courting. Now they are professional. Okay, so they do something. It's a profession. Very nice. I, I feel like this is someone here who's just tempering their passions, emotions here. They're just trying something different. You're different than their usual type. And I think they're going to just, you're going to get flowers more than likely, okay, or some kind of gift, something here. And it's more than likely something unique. They're, try, they're going to try to impress you in some way. 
okay? <laughs> I think this person's actually impressed with you. Something that you do for work, too. There's something about you. Now, you could even work with this person, but I feel someone's going to show up at your, your place of work because they want to ask you out. They want to date you. And I do see some of you having some choices. Yeah, so if you do have a person who comes back around, they're probably going to act exactly like they did before. So take the other opportunity is what it's saying. Somebody who really wants to court you. Someone who will go through that, the tradition of actual courting and dating. I like that. Yeah, for some of you, they are young. Okay, a young male. Or they're youthful and playful. Okay, uh, they have something to do with cars. This person may have their profession could be something to do with cars. They're kind of sporty. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, some of you, like I say, it could be any age, but this is somebody who, now they could be young or they're just very youthful. They're playful. They like to have a good time. They're full of adventure. Someone might just want to go for a drive. They might like say, let's just go on an adventure. Let's just hit the road and go somewhere. Yeah, like a date. So that might even be your first date with this person. Wow. I, I really think this is something special. I feel some of you have choices, though. Yeah. And I do see choices. Career. So there's someone who's very career-oriented. Okay. And they are successful. I do see some advancement here with that, too. So very nice. Yeah, this like I say, this could be somebody who's got that youthful energy. Or if you're young, they're young. Okay, they're full of adventure. They're definitely someone who likes to do different kinds of things. They're always up for something. That's why I kind of feel like you might go for a drive with this person. You might just go someplace. Yeah, really nice. Let's grab another this deck here. I just want to have a look at the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's an energy of healing. It's almost like where you have a date with this person and then you kind of look back at somebody here that may have hurt you. Okay. And then realize it wasn't meant to be. And that's what I feel for you or this person. <laughs> Something here is meant to be. Because there, there's some, it's all about true love. Yeah, you've got some true love. This person's stable financially. They're very stable. They're planning something and preparing. Then they're hoping for the best. They're just putting, this is someone getting themselves out there. See, somebody who's a career person. Yeah, they're taking that leap of faith. They're just going for it. It's an energy of someone just ready to be bold. So it connects with that king of wands. Youthful, playful, flirty, just having a good time. Yeah, there you can see this is someone who's got these energies, the king of cups. They are emotionally mature. They're available. So this is an energy of someone who's available. Okay, they're not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve, you know, but with this energy, they are often somebody who kind of, you know, they're not going to overdo it. You know, but they're not afraid of putting themselves out there. And I feel it's someone who's just getting out there again is what I feel. Yeah, now we have the Queen of Cups. See, so you're going to connect. There's going to be a powerful connection between you and this person. I think you could couple up with this person. I think you're just right for each other. There's something about your emotional balance. Yeah, see, just right. Stable. You're both stable. So you could partner up with this person. Okay. Absolutely. I, I, and I do see a place, some place they're going to take you. Now, this is an energy where it just feels like home. You could just be yourself with this person. Oh, yeah, there's a spark there with the Ace of Wands. There's a spark. So there's some passion. There's some chemistry here. Yeah, but I do see some of you too. You're going to have, if you've got choices, one of these people, there's going to be a lack of chemistry. That's the person I feel who likely won't be your type. Okay, but don't miss this opportunity. I Like I say, one thing could lead to another where you have a date with someone and it's okay, it's pleasurable. You enjoy their company. Okay, they're good company, but you see them more as a friend and it could be the other way around. But you, that one situation where you go is what's going to lead you to something really significant here. I, I like this. Yeah, I see two people at a crossroads. There's that crossroads, this path. Someone's ready to go down that path. Wow. Yeah, they are youthful and playful, but they don't have to be young. Yeah, they are someone longing for love. They have a youthful energy. Now, this could be uh, children involved, parents, or for some of you, could be someone that you knew when they were young. Okay? And there was a, this chemistry 
So like I say, there's this passionate new beginning. There's a spark between you. So I just feel it's just crushing. You're just really crushing. It's like youthful crush, playful. Yeah, this is going to create change with the world. This is an it's saying just go with the flow, see where it goes, let go of the outcome. Just It's about living in that moment. And that's what I feel. It's time to just live in the moment because I actually feel you're going to have a good time. And if you do go out on a date with somebody and you find they're not really your type, you don't really see yourself with them and or you find they're closed off, you know, or you just feel something is off, this other person will approach you. But this is someone ready to go down that path. So there is some, some of you definitely have a choice. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be massive chemistry. See, it's going to be sudden. That's that spark where you meet this person suddenly and it's like a shock, a surprise. It just comes out of out of nowhere. And that's often when you are often the most closed off where you're in protective mode. A lot of times that's what happens because it's it, it tears down those walls. So you see, you're, you're going to have massive, this tower, this healing, this is going to be something just gorgeous. It's coming in out of the blue, often when you least expect it. So there it is. See, you're manifesting. This is where you start to manifest. There's going to be a lot of talk, conversation, people talking. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of people talking about this, too. Mm -hmm. There's people seeing this go on. <laughs> It's all right. I just want to have another look at this um, this power, the chemistry. Tell me about the power. They're just going to make a powerful move, okay? But they're dating and courting first before they move this forward. And I do see the possibility of kind of friends first. Yeah, see, they're very confident, very strong. There's a very strong, powerful attraction. This is that pull. This person feels that pull. Okay, but I do see someone who's, I do see this person, if this is someone you knew when you were young, you might reconnect with somebody. It's very possible with this for some, it definitely won't be for everyone, but it has to do with confidence, strength, this powerful attraction, this pull, and it has to do with somebody who's taming that beast. See, that's where I feel they're mature. Somebody is mature, but yet they know how to have a good time, so... Mm hmm. Taming the beast. This is someone who's in control of their passions. I'm sensing, you know, where is that other? I have a feeling this person's quite the gentleman. Uh, this masculine. Yeah, we got the lady. They'll treat you like a lady. Yeah, very nice. They will treat you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, the queen of hearts. <laughs> this is person's. This is someone definitely. You're going to capture this person's heart. I'll tell you. But if you have a choice, this is all about choosing wisely here. Okay? Mm -hmm. I feel it's telling you, too, to just be yourself. Just be yourself. Okay? So tell me more about this masculine. Tell me more about the masculine. They are stable. Okay? They are stable. And I do feel it's someone who's planning something. I think they're planning a little. Just Let's just live in the moment. Let's just go someplace. Throw caution to the wind. Let's just take a drive and just see where we end up. Okay? <laughs> You're going to end up someplace that feels like home. Some pl another place where people socialize and spend money. Oh, but that's that passion is there. That spark. The fire's lit. Yeah. You see the tower? Yeah. I think it's someone having a massive epiphany when they connect with you that whoever it is they were feeling upset about, it's just, they're just letting it go. It's just like this massive relief, you know, because they're connecting. It's often a person who feels they're never going to connect with someone. They're never going to meet someone who's their type. Such a, yeah, it has to do with their house, their home. Uh, I feel here too. It's an energy where it just feels like home very much just be yourself too just be yourself with this person because that's what they're looking for that's exactly what they are looking for yeah they have everything they need yeah this is an energy of uh, the key it could be the key to someone's home but i feel it has to do with somebody this is very significant the two of cups are here this is a very significant connection this is going to mean something
okay there's going to be something special here now this i feel this person will treat you like a lady this is a person who opens car doors and things if you want okay but i feel they're very charming i feel they like to have a good time i feel they're playful i do see a little flirting but they're just living in the moment and that's what i feel this date is just kind of it, it's it's just going to be this random kind of where you're going you're going to end up someplace very special and yeah this person look at that they are loyal this is a loyal person too when they connect with somebody they're loyal but i also see those people here those people loyal friends so you might end up at their friend's home <laughs> they're taming the beast see they're trying to stay in control of their of that passion they know they're going to treat you like a lady so definitely know your worth and value here yeah they have a really good moral compass you see that moral compass very good morals here but i also feel this is someone who's you know it's like a change of course for this person like they're staying on course but it's a change of course from where they were there's something about you this person really likes yeah i see the garden so this is quite lovely here yeah this person's going to put a lot of effort into this. They might, you might drive by their home or stop there. They might show you uh, something or vice versa. It has to do with gardens, but it's, a, it's something romantic too. But it has to do with putting in a lot of effort. Somebody's putting a lot of effort into something. Yeah, this person's serious about moving forward. I, I feel like there's no reason to go. I mean, it's just everything is here. Uh, I think this person's just going to treat you you know those you feminines that are watching like a lady okay so this is how you want to be conducting yourself <laughs> stay in control of your passions because i feel there's going to be that that this is where passion gets ignited okay so because i do feel this is someone who's in a hurry but they're taming that beast within themselves they're mature but you need to do this as well okay the lady uh-huh because you've already stole their heart at this point because it's already significant to them it means something they feel the connection you both want love this is two people longing for love so i really feel like i say they kind of want to get this going you know they're moving pretty fast yeah but i really feel like they will treat you like a lady you need to act like one yeah there's a lot of passion see it and there's chemistry a lot of passionate feelings but the beast tame it oh there's going to be so much chemistry here oh my gosh yeah this is really 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 nice yeah and i do feel like i say they might like i say this loyal loyal friends you see and i feel it's the start of something here like you could just they could just take you to their friend's home because of the chemistry um because i do think they're going to treat you like a lady but it's also telling you to be that way there's going to be so much passion here it's an energy of you know taming that beast feeling that really strong powerful connection but like i say it has to do with the moral compass because they are they're looking for a lady this is what they're looking for so like i say mm -hmm. something about a house a garden a place you might take a walk um this person does have some romantic uh, energy but like i say there's there's something this person is going to try to show you that they're impressed with okay or you're going to try to impress them so i feel it's them trying to impress you yeah they're just going for it here like i say the passion that's where it's going to get tricky uh ah, see they're mature see some of you have someone who's very mature they're in control of those passions yeah it could be middle age or any age for some of you some of you there's somebody younger but i feel there's a lot of playful youthful uh fun energy too someone who knows how to have a good time so whether they're younger or mature it's the same energy so yeah but like i say just a little caution on that passion because i do feel this is someone who you know you feel like home to this person i feel like you're going to be very comfortable with each other you know uh, but like i say you might show each other your homes after a while okay so you might want to watch that tame the beast teach this person how you want to be treated especially those younger ones <laughs> this person is looking for a lady i can tell you that right now so 
Yeah, somebody who's tamed that beast, don't be afraid to teach them how they want to be treated. But with the Queen of Hearts, you do it with kindness and compassion. Just be kind about it, you know. They'll be good. Even the younger ones. But I don't think you're going to have to worry about this person. Even though they're in a hurry, they've already tamed that beast within themselves. They know. They know a lady when they see it. Put it that way. So if you act like a lady, you'll be treated like a lady with this person. So nice. I wish you guys the best. Okay, try to stay really positive in the next while. Don't reject every offer and opportunity because you feel something is off or someone's not your type. You never know if someone's your type till you spend a little bit of time and have a few dates at least. Okay, but if you have a person who comes back around, okay, and you happen to go to a place and someone else is there and they make a move, okay, that's where I feel. Somebody who's... You know, I feel it's the masculine taking their power back from someone else, to be honest. But it's an energy of yourself, too, okay? Yeah, I just feel like you're going to connect with whoever this is. I mean, it's just you're manifesting each other. You're just manifesting. Some of you, I do feel like you've broken free from someone. I do think some of you have been bored. Like, like, get out and just have some fun. It has to do with needing more pleasure in your life, doing pleasurable things these opportunities this is one opportunity T taking this path this is what it's all about taking the path and the opportunities that are presented because sometimes that path leads to something more okay but even if you go down this path with this person i feel like you might be surprised how they start to open up okay so i wish you the best take care and we'll see you soon